Welcome to Georgia Cooking for the Soul. Today we're cooking meatloaf, string, string beans, and rice. Okay, this is the, this is the meatloaf here. Let me see, baby. Okay, and what I did, I put seasoned salt, accent, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, oregano, basil, onion powder, and black pepper in here, and a can of crushed tomatoes. And I mix it. I put then I put three slices of bread and one egg, and I mix it all together. And after I got in this roaster right here, I um pulled. I got a can of tomato sauce. Put one teaspoon, I know one tablespoon of, of sugar, and I mix it up and I poured it on the on the meatloaf. And that's gonna be the uh, tomato sauce, meatloaf with tomato sauce. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm going to cover it and put it in the oven. I got the oven on 350. I may have to have to lower that. I got to lower this right. I may have to lower that um, that temperature. And if I do, I probably lower it to 325. And you let it cook probably about an hour, about two hours. Uh, you'll know when it get done. Then. About 30 minutes left of cooking time, you're going to take and you're going to make a few uh, to, uh, flour and water and pour on there to, to make your uh, to make the gravy for the meatloaf. So I'll be back in about half when the half cook and I'll let you see it. Okay, right here, yeah, I got the stream beans here cooking. So what I'm going to do. I'm trying to do it one hand because I'm holding my camera. I can't. I'm, tr I'm going to try to. Uh, someone come put the, put the uh, stream beans in here for me. I don't want to waste my stream beans, y'all. So I, I'm going to get some help. I got a knuckle, I have a ham hock, a cured ham hock, and I have a cured pigtail and a piece of fat back. That's the seasoning meat I got in here. This is a whole, uh, it was a large can of, of string beans. Okay, I'm going to let them cook. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, here everyone, here is the, um, the meatloaf with an hour in. I will be back in about another hour and uh and make up the the flour mixture to thicken up the uh to thicken up the gravy. See how that looking? Okay, and here is the uh string beans still cooking. I haven't cooked the rice yet. Okay. Meatloaf. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, y'all. I just put the flour mixture, the thickening on the on the meatloaf. So now what I'm gonna do is let this one cook down to a gravy. And that probably be about 45 minutes. Okay, and the stream beans, they're almost done, ready. I'll turn them off in a few minutes. All right, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, this is the uh, meatloaf. It's ready. What I'm going to do is wait for the rice to cook. And after that, I'll plate it up and let you see the finish. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we picked the finished results. Here's the meatloaf. Right here. 
the string beans and the rice and right here is a plate I want to thank y'all for, for tuning in today to enjoy the cooking for the soul I want you to uh, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that to click that uh, that like button in it and uh, and I see you next time bye bye Welcome to Georgia Cooking for the Soul. Today we're cooking meatloaf, string, string beans, and rice. Okay, this is the, this is the meatloaf here. Let me see, baby. Okay, and what I did, I put seasoned salt, accent, Italian seasoning, garlic powder. Oregano, basil, onion powder, and black pepper in here, and a can of crushed tomatoes. And I mix it. I put then I put three slices of bread and one egg, and I mix it all together. And after I got it in this roaster right here, I um pulled. I got a can of tomato sauce. Put one teaspoon, I know one tablespoon of, of sugar, and I mix it up and I pour it on the on the meatloaf, and that's gonna be the uh, tomato sauce, meatloaf with tomato sauce. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna cover it and put it in the oven. I got the oven on 350. I may have to have to lower that. I got to lower this right. I may have to lower that um, that temperature, and if I do, I probably lower it to 325. And you let it cook probably about an hour, about two hours. Uh, you'll know when it get done. Then about 30 minutes left of cooking time, you're gonna take and you're gonna make up your few, uh, to, uh, flour and water and pour on that to make your. Uh, make the gravy for the meatloaf. So I'll be back in about half when the half cook and I'll let you see it. Okay right here yeah I got the string beans here cooking. So what I'm gonna do I'm trying to do it one hand because holding my camera. I can't I'm tr I'm gonna try to um uh, someone come put the put the uh, string beans in here for me. I don't want to waste my string beans, y'all, so I, I'm going to get some help. Okay. I got a knuckle, I have a ham hock, a cured ham hock, and I have a cured pigtail and a piece of fat back. That's the seasoning meat I got in here. This is a whole... It was a large can of, of string beans. Okay, I'm gonna let them cook. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, here everyone, here is the um the meatloaf with an hour in. I will be back in about another hour and uh and make up the the flour mixture to thicken up the uh Thicken up the gravy. See how that looking? Okay, and here is the uh, string beans still cooking. I hadn't cooked the rice yet. Okay. Meat loaf. All right, I'll be back. Okay, y'all. I just put the flour mixture, the thickening on it, on the meatloaf. So now what I'm gonna do is let this one cook down to a gravy, and that probably be about 45 minutes. Okay, and the string beans they're almost done, ready. I'll turn them off in a few minutes. Alright, I'll be back. 
Okay, y'all, this is the uh, meatloaf. It's ready. What I'm going to do is wait for the rice to cook. And after that, I'll plate it up and let you see the finish. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. Y'all, we good to finish this up. Here's the meatloaf. Right here. The string beans and the rice. And right here is a plate. I want to thank y'all for, for tuning in today to Georgia Cooking for the Soul. I want you to uh, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that, to click that, um, that like button and and uh, and I see you next time. Bye bye.